I, I thought it was just a great team effort. Uh, amazing how our guys played together and continue to share the ball at a high level. And uh, when you're doing those kind of things, you become hard to guard. And I thought that's what w happened tonight. And on the defense end, we were, we were attached almost on every possession, working together, communicating. We didn't start very well, but we finished well in the first half. And then that run in the beginning of the second half, that's hard to do when you have that kind of lead. And uh, that's a credit to my guys, how focused they were to be ready and uh, to continue to play together in the midst of that. Because a lot of places, a lot of teams get selfish in the midst of that, trying to look for their own. And that never was the case tonight. And uh, so I'm blessed to get to coach these guys. Um, it was pretty much just don't let up. I mean, the second half was just a chance for us to get better. We can't get comfortable with the lead that we had. So that's when we made that run. And I mean, as long as we listen to him, I'm pretty sure something good is going to happen. It was just the ball movement. We just find the open guy and hit, hit the open man. And as long as we make the shots, I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, because every time they trap him and we step to it, they're, we're all, they're already an odd man down. So as long as ball movement works, somebody's going to be up and they're going to knock down the shot. Well, I mean, that wasn't what we went into the game. We knew it was going to be a slugfest because they're a really talented team, great coach, and uh, we were fortunate to win tonight. Um, you know, they were coming off a great victory over a tremendous team, Florida Gulf Coast, and I knew they were going to be jacked and ready, and they were. And, but I, I thought, as it turned out, it was good. It was, it was nerve-wracking for me in the second half, trying to figure out what to do, because you, you want to be wise, but at the same time, you don't want to get on a run and the other team gets on a run, gets back, and you got guys coming in that's been setting for 10 minutes and uh, put yourself in jeopardy. I've been in a lot of different kinds of situations. That's why I guess I'm a little, a little older than most. And, and I knew that they were going to try to do some different things, and they did, but we stepped up and made play, and Ann hit some big shots, and Kevin handled the ball at a high level. And our bigs, Darius and TJ, I mean, fast breaks and passing through the traps, it was maybe as good as we've done all year. And it was the second bunch essentially out there doing it. And that was fantastic to watch. But as uh, far as getting some rest, at the end of the day, that's going to be good. I think that will help us on Saturday against a, a hard team to guard that uh, spreads the floor and, and has all kinds of great guards that we're going to have a tough time staying in front of. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not really about points. It's just about energy. As long as we give energy, everything else is going to come into place. It's all, he, just, he coaches us the same way he coaches the starters. He just wants us to play hard and give energy, and that's what we do. I mean, coming from my JUCO, we play together way more. We talk way more. And we have three more games into the conference championship. That's all we want. We've been looking at that since the beginning of the season. We're taking it one game at a time. So as long as we get these next three, take it one game at a time, and we'll be where we want to be. Well, it just says that we got great players, got great assistants, and they're all doing their job at a high level, and they care for the right things and care about the right things. And uh, I'm just fortunate to be a part of that. And then beyond that, I think we've created a great home court advantage, the marketing people and uh, Jonathan Howard and all the guys that work hard and our players being out and all those community service projects. That's big time important, how we get people in the gym. and then that gives us the energy to do what we did tonight, and uh, it's a credit to everybody. So if we can find a way to keep, get, keep getting this thing uh, at a high level like we're, we're doing, I mean, we've got one more home game, uh, and we need to fill it up. So if you're listening to this and you hadn't been to a game, you need to come catch some ball, and it's in Hawkins Arena. It's happening. We need you here helping us get it done on Saturday.